the show. Now, my next guest, Dan, is all ready to ask that all-important question, but he has no idea where to begin searching for the right rock. All right, so here to help is a friend of The Tyra Show and co-founder and editor-in-chief of The Knot, Carly Roney. Hi, Carly. Hey, how are you doing? Hi. Hi. Okay, so you're going to help us, help us, help Dan. Yes. And everybody else watching. Um, what to look for in terms of diamonds. So what do we need to look well, for? Well, the first thing you need to know is you're actually buying a diamond, not a ring. So in terms of that, you know, it's cut, clarity, carrot size, color, all that stuff. But there's some new trends out there. One, you want to make sure you have a conflict-free diamond. You've heard about blood diamonds. You don't want that. Yeah. So oh, certification. Yeah. You see that movie? And also no, there's no, green yeah. diamonds, um, like uh, actually eco-friendly yeah. setting and mining practices. So we're going to show you okay. some of those today, actually. So okay. some hot stuff. Okay. So what you got? What's the first thing you got? Uh, well, first of all, I just want to show you one of those diamonds. Well, this is a $40,000 diamond right there. There. That's oh. all the best C's right there. So just something to keep an what, eye what, on. What are the C's? That's cut, clarity. cut, clarity, color, and carrot. The size, baby. Okay, got that's it. That's two carrots right there. Forty thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Okay, okay but the yourself. trends and settings here are okay. First off, one of the hot trends is to actually just buy that diamond and put it in kind of a placeholder setting. This is a brilliant cut diamond and Wait, elongated. What does that mean, placeholder meaning setting? like she gets to go pick out the setting she wants afterwards. You put oh. this is like a really simple band. Oh, then if she wants to kind of upgrade on something fancy, it's all her style. It keeps okay. kind of protecting. If you really don't know what she wants, yeah. okay? That's trend that number one? one. Trend number two is hot antique looking ring. So you see, you can recognize it because it's very like old world European. It's got like filigree and lots of little diamonds. Antique in the looking. Antique looking. But yeah. not antique. No, it's not, you know, okay, family yeah. doesn't have to okay. have one, but yeah. that's a nice look. Do you think you know, she's into great. any of these so far? The antique thing? Uh, I think the antique thing. Then. Yeah, I think what's, okay. what's this last one? One more. This is a really hot uh, trend too. This is called the halo setting. You find a nice, a uh, one carat diamond, and you put diamonds all around it in a little halo mm -hmm. and that the best I part thought that was called the usher setting yeah you know what that's called the make it look two times bigger than it is setting uh, that's one it. of the great okay. things about that so that's another great look and even has diamonds on the band you know one diamond is just not enough anymore so tell yeah. us about this woman that you're interested in getting this diamond well, for. I've known her for about two years my girlfriend Tiffany and uh, we met at a hardware store and uh, from the first time I saw her, I knew I Hardware loved her. Hardware store, so yeah, were you guys say. working? Yeah, we're working together. I started at the cash register and I just knew I loved her. The, the she was working at the cash her. register? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. I was the cash register. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty much like that. You got a hammer? And so uh, we got together and uh, I know she's the one. And so with the uh, pending activation into the Marine Corps um, next year, uh, I want to make sure that she knows how much I love her. So and you're possibly facing of. Iraq. Yes. Yes. For and for how long would you be uh, deployed? It'd be a year deployment. Wow, one year. Yeah. So if you were to get a ring for your girl, which one of these would you get? Uh, I'd probably go with more of the antique one. The antique mm -hmm. one. Yeah. That's I class. Like it. That's yeah. I like it. All right. Yeah. I'm clean now. Well, guess what? It's going to be yours. You're going to be able to give that to your fiance. Oh, that is possibly amazing. Fiance. Dan, are yes. you ready for the big moment? You ready to pop that question right I here? I am. Okay. Definitely am. All right. Well, to honor this soldier who might be shipped off to Iraq very soon, we've called on some soldiers of love for support. <laughs> They're Dan's friends and family. Now, remember, though, Tiffany just thinks that she's here at a show about honoring men in the military. That's kind of the thing that we've told her. We've been lying to everybody all day. <laughs> but it's a good lie. There's like a bad lie. There's a good lie. We're doing good lies. So, attention. Please welcome Dan's girlfriend of two years, Tiffany. Hi. So we're talking all about the military and all that, and you know that my brother's in the military, and um, Dan could possibly be deployed for up to one year. And how do you feel about that? Um, just a little scared about it. Yeah, a little yes. scared. Um, but how do you feel about your love? Do you think your love is strong enough to deal with that for Yes, definitely. Yeah? Yes. Tell me how much you love him. A lot. <laughs> Tell me why. It's okay. Let me, let me hug you. Let's make you less nervous. Well, Dan has a confession to make. Okay. We're not really talking about <laughs> the military. <laughs> I know we told you that it was for honoring military personnel on the show today, mm -hmm. but that wasn't actually the intentions. From the day that I first saw you, I knew that I loved you and wanted to be with you. Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> no hesitation. <laughs> you can relax now. <laughs> you probably were like, 
What are these soldiers of love doing with swords? What are we talking about? How do you feel? A little nervous. A little speechless. Yeah, yeah you're speechless, right? Yes. She's in shock. Sorry. All right, special thanks to The Knot and Carly for the ring advice, and uh, we'll be right back. Congratulations. Thank you. touching proposals, but today isn't the first time we've witnessed men dropping down to their knees on the Tyra show for the women that they love. Check out some of the proposals from past shows and their updates. Lauren came on the Tyra show to receive a Sarah Jessica Parker makeover. Little did she know her boyfriend Rob had a bigger surprise in store for her. So why don't you open that up? <laughs> Woo. Oh my god. Are those They're nice? Beautiful. But wait, where's the other one? <laughs> you marry me. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Tyra. It's Robin Lauren Johnson. We just wanted to give you an update on our Life Since Your Show, and we both wanted to thank you for making our engagement so memorable. Since then, we've been married this past summer on August 24th, and since your show, we've fallen in love more every day. Also engaged on the Tyra Show were Kelly and Don. You want me to propose to Kelly for you. Why not? Why not a supermodel? <laughs> who, who would ever forget that? A supermodel proposing to my girlfriend. Will you marry me? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly and Don tied the knot on February 23rd, 2007. And they weren't the only ones doing something for the first time. Anika surprised her boyfriend, Dion, by losing her virginity on The Tyra Show. I've decided that tonight is going to be the night for us. OK. You OK with that? You OK with that? I'm sure. <laughs> and to Anika's delight, Dion had a surprise of his own. <laughs> you want everybody to hear this? Will you marry me? did something a little interesting. They did a whole losing their virginity on the Tyra show, and then after that, there was a proposal. Kind of backwards, but interesting. <laughs> and they're back with us now, Anika and Dion. Stand on up. <laughs> Hi. So you all did the whole virginity thing on the show, and then <laughs> did the proposal after. What was it like after the show aired when you guys went back home? Well, we were Tyra famous from the Tyra show after that. <laughs> the Tyra couple. Uh, everybody, <laughs> our family, well, my family knew, his, his family didn't yeah, know surprised. until the show aired. So after the show aired, it was a little different because people, well, my family was like, uh, <laughs> 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 no. -uh. And what was it about, was it losing virginity on TV or was it about uh, sex before marriage? It was about sex before marriage and losing virginity on TV. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, my grandmama kind of shut it down. She was like, you know, all right, you know, we've seen it, it's done, it's over, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> and how is your, your sex life now? It went from like nothing to like oh. what, what's continuing? Yeah. I heard that it was like rabbits. I'm, I'm, this is what you told my producers. I'm not, I have it right here. Right now our sex life is normal, but before that we were going at it like rabbits. <laughs> when, we first, when we first left, it was like, we, it was like making up for lost time, I guess. It was, <laughs> yeah. You know, but you know, I guess. It had to even out eventually. And so. when is the uh, marriage? When is the wedding? It's going to be in April. Okay. April, so. Well, you have to send us pictures yeah. and videos. <laughs> all right, all right, we'll be right back. <laughs> Big thank you to Matt Bean, Susan Piver, and Carly Roney for helping us all with our proposals today. And you guys, this has been a very romantic hour. And if you want to see one more proposal that actually happened here on the set a few weeks ago, it was like spontaneous. It was like, woo, it was really cool. Um, just log on to the website and we'll see you later. Thank you.